Hello everybody, this is Bauno, and I'm going to be doing a quick review video of the TWI Wolf Avatar. This is actually the first Master Avatar that the creator ever made, which is amazing if you look at it. It's just, the mesh itself is beautiful and the texture is beautiful. So thinking that this is a first time mesh avatar is just amazing. At the time of recording this, it is not updated uh, with Bento. However, the update is in the works and it is... I want to say close to completion, but I can't say that for sure just yet. Uh, what that means is this little eye glitch, for example, right here will no longer be a thing. Uh, the eye glitch will happen because the way this avatar is made, the eyes and the, the jaw states and the tail uh, flip between different pieces of mesh in order to give it that animated look, which Second Life, unfortunately, being as old as, as it is, has some issues with. But Bento will take care of that because there will be new bones added and that will no longer be a thing, which is awesome. Uh, glitches aside, we're going to take a look at the avatar and its features itself. As you can see, like I said before, it has beautiful textures. The mesh itself is lovely. If you're not a fan of these first spikes, don't worry about it because there is a smoothed out version as well in the extras folder, which is a very nice feature. Anyways, we're going to move right along. I'm going to adjust my camera and we're going to take a look at its expressions. Uh, there's that mesh issue that I was talking about. We're going to ignore that for now. Uh, you can move the head up and you can move the head down and back to the middle. The ears can become alert, normal, sad, and you're kind of angry now. Uh, we're going to move back to normal. You can change the eyes to a surprise, to kind of a concerned, to a what are you doing, and then hey, I'm really angry. Uh, you can open and close the eyelids. And you can change the dilation to really, really big, and I have seen some horrible things in my life. Um, the jaw itself, or the muzzle, uh, you can smile, you can frown, you can be kind of upset, and you can be really pissed off. Uh, the mouth itself will open and close as you so desire. The tongue will also change as well. You can have it panting, which is a little animated thing, which is very cool, just sticking out. And if you close your mouth, you can lick your nose, which is adorable, especially if one of these snowflakes fall on your nose. The tail also has some expressions, if you want to call them that. Once again, it is not updated with Bento, so there will be a few minor glitches easily fixed by switching between different states of the tail. Uh, so you can have it kind of curl and go straight between your legs and come up and kind of just all these different tail positions, including one over the back for who, those of you who want to have like a dog that has a curled up tail. You can wag it from side to side and you can also swish it up and down. I heard someone's gesture somewhere else on Sim. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there are animations as well and as you can see there are a ton of them which many avatars do not come with, let alone a full AO like this avatar has. There's, of course, the sit, there's a lay down, which is really convenient that it has all these different positions of laying down in case you're trying to cuddle up with someone and you need to just, you need to lay down in the certain way for it to look right, and now you can. There's sleeping, which just kind of lets you curl up on the ground, or my favorite sleep animation, which puts your head down between your front paws, and then the other way. And I really like how the legs fall into place. It's just very natural. Uh, there's curling up which would definitely keep the wolf or dog very nice and warm, very cute. There's also a ton of fun animations. Let me change my camera. Uh, like a dance, just a happy little dance, a gentle dance. You're swaying to the music. You can prance about excitedly because you're enjoying the tune. You can rock out like a headbang, which is really funny. Uh, or you can just tap your paw to the beat, which is very cute as well. Uh, there's a rolling animation where you're rolling on your back and you're whining a little bit. You're just really happy. You can chase your tail, uh, left and right actually, which is really convenient. Uh, and you can also do a play bow, which again, you'll start whining too. So very cute, a very happy little dog. And your eyes actually dilate just to show how excited you are. Uh, you can flop. <laughs> Uh, these are alert animations where you kind of are checking out your surroundings. You maybe heard something and you're scanning the forest around you, uh, which is very nice. 
just that extra little thing. And these will actually go off uh, in idle animations as well. So your wolf isn't just standing there blankly all the time. It will do things on its own. Uh, a scratch animation, both left and right, so you can get both of those ears. You can dig in the snow or the dirt or whatever you happen to be standing on. You can bark. You can howl. You can shake, and this is not shaking someone's hand. This is grabbing a rabbit and shaking it around. Uh, you can bite. And you can growl. Look how scary that is. You can also submit if you are not the alpha wolf. You can submit and kind of just be like, Yo, I don't want to fight. Please don't mess me up bro, please. Uh, I think that's a nice little touch, because not everybody's going to be the alpha wolf. Uh, we have little animations over here. A lot of these will go off as idols, but you can force them to go off. There is a growl partial, so you're not doing the full animation. You're just, you're just growling. There's a head tilt, which will go off until you push head tilt again. So you can be doing this cute little head tilt as long as you want. It's just very cute. You're like, oh, oh what, what is that? Is that a ball? I, I kind of want the ball. Uh, there's a howl partial, so you don't have to just do the classic howl stance. You can just stand around and do a howl if you want. There's licking, which is more like a drinking. Um, you could be uh, drinking some water. Uh, there's panting. There's also sniffing. This one doesn't have an animation, but it will make you whine. I guess it kind of does have a little bit of an animation. I didn't really realize that it uh, brought your tail down like that. Uh, there's fidget, which will just kind of make you do a little bit of a sniff and a looking around, which is also one of the idle animations. And then, of course, the stretch, which as well is one of the idle animations. Uh, the paws will make you uh, put out one of your paws and just it's kind of like shaking your hand. Um, customization. Now this is where the TWI and even Birdie Mart avatars really shine. In normal avatars you will buy an avatar and you will get one color if you're lucky maybe a couple. Um, with this one not only do you get different colors and different coats there's the idle animation I was talking about not only will you get different coats different colors all this wonderful stuff but you'll go even further by getting markings as well so not only do you have let's say uh, just a normal timber wolf skin you can make that timber wolf look even different and more unique by having all these different markings already included so you don't even need to buy mods for it if you really don't want to uh, let's check out the fur base first of all. Uh, we are currently the out of the box uh, version. Uh, if we click the arrow, it will change us to a brown wolf, which I really think is nice. Uh, it's a little bit, it's kind of like the first one, uh, but it's more tinted brown. And it has a more white face. Again, there's that mesh, mesh glitch I was talking about, but again, that is because of Second Life, not because of the avatar. And that will be fixed in Bento, like I've mentioned a few times. In fact, I'm going to fix, oh, never mind. Here is one that is my absolute favorite out of all the base coats. It is just, I'm going to even close this too, so you can get a better look at it. It just has this unique look. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a red wolf. Uh, I'm so bad with uh, the different types. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful texture. Uh, one of my favorites. Actually, it's my favorite of all of the uh, already uploaded ones. Uh, here is a black wolf. I'm going to close this so you can get a better look. And this is just amazing because a lot of avatars, when they have a black version of it, it's just pure black. But you have grays and you have browns and you have little bits of blue in there. That is just where these avatars shine the most. It's just there is so much detail put into them and there's research done. Okay, well, how does this fur coat look? Oh, it's not pure black. I'm going to add in some different things so it's not just pure black. Uh, and that's just where these avatars really shine. Uh, and there's, of course, a white marking for those of you who want to tint your wolf or just be a white wolf. 
Oh, this is the one for you. And again, it's not pure white. There's little bits of brown and a little bit of gray, and it's all very light, but it makes it look more real because it's not just pure white. Um, if you are using the white base and you decide, okay, well, I want to be a blue wolf, well, you have this thing over here which will allow you to tint whatever you have selected. So I have the fur base selected, so I'm going to be a blue wolf or a teal wolf, whatever color you want to call this. And now you can be. Uh, and you can change it. You can do all these things. You can be so unique. It's just amazing. And here's some preset colors that, you know, would fit the avatar really well. Uh, even just if you want to be that pure black wolf that I was saying, you know, a lot of people do, uh, you can be. It's really cool. And now we're going to move on to the markings. And I'm going to select red so they're easier to see. Uh, right now I have no markings selected, but just take a look. Just see what you can do. So here is the first marking, which will give you... It's kind of like the original wolf markings on the uh, fur base, but this is a way where you can tint it to be the color that you want it to be. So let's say you want it to be kind of black. There's still some red showing through because mesh glitches. Let's fix the eye actually and that'll... There we go. So now you can be however you want to be. It's just really cool. You can be very unique in this sense. Uh, there's even more. This one's kind of almost husky-ish, actually, and it even goes onto the back as well. There's a little blaze coming up be between the eyes and some little eyebrow type deals. Uh, this one is, I like to think of this as a panda, and again, there's a uh, mesh glitch right there, but that is, again, Second Life. This one is very panda-ish markings. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what it's intended to be, but that's what it reminds me of, especially if you turn it uh, to black, uh, which I think is very cute. Um, we who have one that kind of just does the the points, I guess. It's like Siamese, uh, like a Siamese cat where it takes the, the head and the tail and the bottoms of the feet. Uh, very cool. Again, it could also look like a panda if you wanted it to. Uh, this one does kind of the opposite where it, it will get the nose, but it also just gets the butt as well. So you can have a red butt if you want a red butt. It's up to you. Uh, this one is very overlooked. Now, if you look up here, you can kind of see a little bit of the sample texture, and you think, okay, well, what is this? This is so you can do highlights. Um, so you can just barely see it, but there are some red highlights now in my fur, and this can just make an avatar really shine. Like, now I have some blue highlights, and now I can make my fur a little bit darker, but not very much, and then some green highlights, and some brown highlights. Very cool, and that's always overlooked but it's a really cool feature where you can just have that little bit of extra in your fur. Now we're going to get into some unnatural markings and these are kind of tribal, very cool, almost tiger stripey but also very tribal because of the moon. Uh, it's very cool uh, and now we have even more tribal markings uh, where this is, uh, I want to say Native American but I'm not sure so I'm not going to call it that. It could almost pass as Okami type stuff because of the uh, stuff on the back, uh, all that cool stuff. Uh, let us move to the next one and some stars for if you want to be a merkin, merkin doggo. Uh, let me fix the mouth real quick there. Uh, yeah, there's stars which are cool and you can even see the fur texture through the stars which is very cool. Uh, the next one is I think the hearts. Yes it is if you're just that really cute heart wolf uh, and this this is kind of just uh, added in throughout all of the TWI avatars I think except for the fox I think the fox does not have the heart markings disappointment but anyways you can have hearts or you can just have no markings at all it's fine um, what's really cool is like you could select the ear and let's say you want uh, just your ears to have hearts on them you can just have only your ears have hearts you can select different parts uh, to have different things if you want. Very cool. Um, the eyes you can tint as well. You can tint them to any color you want so you don't have to be stuck with just yellow eyes. Uh, very very nice. Uh, let's see the claws you can also tint. All the stuff you can tint. You can do whatever you want really. 
it's really nice especially because you don't have to go out and buy a mod if you don't want to and you don't have to go out and buy the avatar again just to get another color I know um, there were some other uh, feral avatars out there for a while I think it was lost ferals where they were no modify and you just you couldn't do much with them if you want another color you had to buy another color uh, and they were pretty expensive um, from what I remember speaking of expensive um, the avatar's price is 3,000 linden now I know you're going whoa Bauno you just said that these other avatars were expensive and now you're saying this one is 3,000 linden what is wrong with you well if you think about what all I have just showed you you have a full mesh avatar which will be updated with bento which will be awesome it has facial expressions it has animated parts like a tail and twitching ears it has a full AO and gestures with sounds and you can customize it to be however you want you don't have to buy it again and you don't have to buy a mod all of that kind of adds up to around 3,000 linden or maybe even more it's a really good deal if you think about it all you're getting and you can modify this to be so many things I'm gonna try to change my camera angle real quick I'm haven't really prepared as usual and we can kinda of see it walk oh. so this is the run um, when you get this avatar out of the box it will have a feature that will allow you to run really fast if you keep double tapping to turn this off you'll type slash 17 speed and off and that will just make you move like a normal avatar would uh, so here's the walking here's the running which is just flawless in my eyes at least uh, you can crouch and you can kinda crawl around be a sneaky wolf and you can jump and of course you can fly So that is the TWI Wolf Avatar. Uh, like I said, a million times it will be upda updated for Bento. It will be even better. But as it is right now, I honestly will give it about a 4.5. And the reason why I give it a 4.5 instead of 5 out of 5 is because of this. <coughs> Stuff like that with the barks. There's been a lot of love put into the barks and all of the sounds. Uh, the licking, oh god. And some of the sounds make it sound like it is different, a different dog each time. However, there are sound replacers you can buy and add into this wolf, which is another thing you can do, is just replace so much stuff. Uh, but you can change the sounds um, with sound replacers to make it sound like the same dog every time, or same wolf every time. Uh, and that's kind of really why I give it a 4.5 at this point. Um, but you know bento is going to bring that up straight up to a five maybe even past the five uh but i really highly recommend this avatar it's just me being picky knocking off those 0.5 stars you know how i am well maybe you don't but that's just how i am i'm i'm picky when it comes to small things but once again this is his first mesh avatar uh and just for that alone is it's just amazing that you know back when he used flexi prims and sculpts you know they were great avatars and all but this is just such he's come such a long way even in just his first avatar uh so anyways this is the twi mesh wolf that's really all i have to say right now this is kind of a not planned type deal so forgive me for the length of the video uh, like i said i highly recommend it and that's all i got bye